what you need to know about Man City and Inter Milan. Manchester City and Inter's complete head-to-head -head record Manchester City and Inter have never played a competitive game against each another, mainly due to City's rise into European competition from 2008 coinciding with a dark patch in Inter's history when they were rarely involved in Europe, at least not to a high level City have been in every edition of the Champions League since the 2011-12 season, while Inter were absent between 2012 and 2018 and have not been drawn with City since becoming. Involved again, there are only two examples of the teams facing each other, both being preseason friendlies. Among them, Manchester City won one games, three at total score, one at Etihad Stadium away, Inter Milan won one, three at Etihad Stadium, zero at total score away, and drew zero at total score, zero at Etihad Stadium. Inter Milan has achieved significantly more titles than Manchester City. In terms of league titles, Inter Milan has won 19, whereas Manchester City has won 8. Regarding the Champions League, Inter Milan has secured 3 titles, while Manchester City has yet to claim any. The table below illustrates the complete list of our titles. Pep Guardiola, born on January 18, 1971, is a Spanish football coach and former player. He is widely regarded as one of the most successful and influential managers in the history of the sport. Guardiola's coaching style emphasizes possession-based, attacking football, known as tiki-taka, which focuses on intricate passing and positional play. As a player, Guardiola spent the majority of his career at FC Barcelona. He joined the club's youth academy, La Mesa, at the age of 13 and made his first team debut in 1990. Guardiola became an integral part of Johan Cruyff's dream team that achieved great success in the early 1990s. As a midfielder, he was known for his exceptional vision, passing ability, and tactical understanding of the game. After leaving Barcelona in 2001, Guardiola played for Italian club Brescia and Mexican side Dorados de Sinaloa before retiring in 2006. It was during his time as a player that Guardiola's deep understanding of the game and tactical acumen started to take shape following his retirement. Guardiola transitioned to coaching and began his managerial career at Barcelona's B team, leading them to promotion. In 2008, he was appointed as the head coach of the senior team. Guardiola's tenure at Barcelona was incredibly successful, as he led the club to numerous trophies, including three consecutive La Liga titles, 2008-2009, 2009-2010, 2010-2011, and two UEFA Champions League titles, 2008-2009, 2010-2011. Under his guidance, Barcelona played an attractive, possession-based style of football that captivated fans around the world after leaving Barcelona in 2012. Guardiola took a sabbatical before being appointed as the manager of Bayern Munich in 2013. He continued his successful streak at Bayern, winning three consecutive Bundesliga titles, 2013-2014, 2014-2015, 2015-2016, and reaching the UEFA Champions League semifinals in three consecutive seasons. In 2016, Guardiola joined Manchester City as their head coach. Since then, he has guided the club to multiple domestic successes, including three Premier League titles, 2017-2018, 2018-2019, 2020-2021, 2022-2023, 1 FA Cup, 2018-2019, and four League Cups, 2017-2018, 2018-2019, 2019-2020, 2020-2021, 2022-2023, 2020 Throughout his career, Guardiola's innovative approach to the game and his commitment to attacking football have earned him widespread acclaim. His teams are known for their tactical fluidity, intense pressing, and relentless pursuit of success. Pep Guardiola's impact on modern football and his impressive trophy haul make him one of the most celebrated and respected coaches in the history of the sport. Simone Inzaghi, born on April 5, 1976, is an Italian former professional football player and current coach. He is best known for his association with SS Lazio, both as a player and as a coach. ASA player, Inzaghi was a forward who possessed great goal scoring instincts and an ability to find the back of the net. He started his professional career at Piacenza Calcio and later moved to Lazio in 1999. Inzaghi enjoyed tremendous success during his time at Lazio, becoming a fan favorite and a key player for the club. He won several titles with Lazio, including the Serie A title in the 1999-2000 season, the Coppa Italia in 1999-2000 and 2003-2004, 
and the UEFA Super Cup in 1999. Inzaghi's career was also notable for his performances in European competitions. He played a crucial role in Lazio's run to the UEFA Cup Winners' Cup victory in the 1998-1999 season, scoring the winning goal in the final against RCD Mallorca. Inzaghi was known for his clinical finishing and ability to score important goals in big matches. After retiring as a player in 2010, Inzaghi turned his focus to coaching. He initially took charge of Lazio's youth teams and achieved success by guiding them to multiple Primavera Youth Championships. In 2016, Inzaghi was appointed as the head coach of Lazio's senior team following the departure of Stefano Pioli. ASA coach, Inzaghi continued Lazio's tradition of attacking football. Under his guidance, Lazio adopted an aggressive and high-scoring style of play. Inzaghi's tactical approach emphasized quick transitions, intelligent movement off the ball, and an emphasis on attacking from various positions. During his tenure as Lazio's head coach, Inzaghi led the team to several achievements. He guided Lazio to Coppa Italia victories in the 2012-2013 and 2018-2019 seasons. Inzaghi also steered the team to success in the Supercoppa Italiana in 2017 and the UEFA Super Cup in 2019. Inzaghi's coaching style and success with Lazio earned him recognition and admiration in the footballing world. His ability to develop young players and his tactical acumen made him a sought-after coach in Italy. In 2021, Inzaghi left Lazio and took charge of Inter Milan, succeeding Antonio Conte as the head coach. It marked a new chapter in his coaching career, as he inherited a team that had recently won the Serie A title. Inzaghi faced the challenge of continuing Inter Milan's success and building upon their achievements. Simone Inzaghi's journey as a player and coach demonstrates his deep connection with Lazio and his ability to achieve success both on and off the field. His contributions to Italian football and his impact as a coach have solidified his place in the sport's history. Key players from Inter Milan include Hakan Kalhanoglu, Francesco Acerbi, Nicolo Barella, Denzel Justice Morris Dumfries, Alessandro Batoni, Romelu Lukaku, Lautaro Javier Martiner, and Federico De Marco. For Manchester City, notable players are Rod Rhee, Kevin De Bruyne, Jack Grealish, Ruben Diaz, Erling Haaland, Ilkay Gundogan, Bernardo Silva, and John Stones. These two teams, Inter Milan and Manchester City, hold great stature and command immense respect in the football world. We extend our best wishes to both teams for continued success and numerous titles in the upcoming year. May their endeavors be fruitful and their achievements abundant.